Welcome back, guys, to the Banter Podcast with Tommy and How do you feel that you've done the intro? Oh, I, dude, I love doing I can tell. Intros. You're an intro kind of guy. I mean, I can do it again. Yeah, do it again, know. do it again. I can get a bit, I can get a little more gumption in there. Welcome back, guys, to the Banter Podcast with Tommy and it, Carl, and so oh, see, I hated it, Sam. I hate you. Right? <laughs> it is, yeah, it's, 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 it's very hard. It's, hard well, as soon as you get the gumption, you, it really well, is. You know, a tough the, job. the reason that it's so hard oh, to do Jesus. is because you have to do it in silence, knowing that your friends are just listening <laughs> to that. That is the <laughs> with, that, with that sort of awkward British half smile, like so. Oh. We're recording this in the morning. We, we've all just woken up, <laughs> despite the time How's, zones. How is everyone's morning so far? Oh, dude, can I? Okay. I'm trying to get better at sleeping, and I, for the past couple of days, I've been waking up at like 8 a.m. And today, I woke up at one. And I'm like, how does it? How does it get that bad? And then, about every once a month, I, I have a complete disruption to my morning that just changes how my entire day is going to be. <laughs> Dude, can I tell yeah, you? Yeah, go on. It's when, whenever Dream uploads, the first thing I do is then watch that full 45 minute video <laughs> in the morning. And I've just sat watching Minecraft Death Shuffle with my dad while he's on his iPad. Like, look, dad, George is about to, he's going to find the void. Just, <laughs> I don't, he just didn't care. It's now three o'clock and I've been awake for like an hour and a half, which is not. You good. know what? That's Dream's impact. <laughs> it really just it does. Does he's ruin everything, doesn't he? You know, speaking wanna, about that, like, no, dude. no, 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 no. We have to get into who Tommy in it is. That's what I saw. Oh, I, I saw okay. in reviews. Carl. We got okay, some bad guys, reviews saying I'm we don't a... explain our guests enough. Well, who was reviewing I don't know. that, dude? Get rid Listen, of them. I'm gonna read your Wikipedia page. Oh, please do. Thomas Carl. Simons. Better known as That's online me. alias Tommy in it is an English YouTuber and Twitch yep. streamer. That's ice he cream. produces Minecraft-related content with videos and live streams. Do you really think there wasn't someone who like could have inferred that? Carl? <laughs> but, oh, apparently not. What you're essentially doing apparently is mansplaining not. to your I, viewers. Uh, yep, and I'm proud of it. I like it. your associations are Dream. Oh yeah. The top two are Dream oh. and Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja, Ninja, let's go. I really turned it around in the second half bullshit. That's brilliant, mate. <laughs> I'm associated with Ninja. Yes. All right, Sam, I'm sorry. You, you go ahead Ninja are, are real good friends. Oh, okay. Speaking about, like, the whole sleeping thing, if you guys want to know who is, like, the biggest crazy sleep schedule person, dude, it's Dream. Like, and I, I've experienced it firsthand. Really? This guy, dude, like, he, like, literally, I complain about it so much. He'll have, like, a perfect sleep schedule. He'll be waking up at, like, 8 a.m., sharp every morning for about two days and then he, he goes into waking up at like at like literally like nine o'clock at night and i'm like dude that's just oh it's bad for you it's gotta it? be I mean, that has to be dude because this is the whole like cicada rhythms in it where like above. your body's meant to i think i'm talking up. about yeah. that he's, he, i think he says like i forget what he says he just says no, like no. he just can't help it like he literally he, he just can't yeah that's know, it's, just so that's what you that. call not a sleep schedule that's just not a yeah, schedule. We keep using the word schedule. If Dream is a, is if Dream wakes up at eight a.m. and then the next day wakes up at nine p.m., that doesn't make it a schedule. You realize that there is no. <laughs> schedule, you know what's weird? I've like you know what you're saying about schedule, Carl. I've always stuck with a schedule. Even during the quarantine, I was going to bed at like four or five a.m., but I was still waking up up two the next day. Like I, I like I, I stuck yeah. That's with that. my problem. So my issue is that. I don't sleep much, and the and the issue with it is because I like to stay up really late, but then I can't get my body to wake up later than a certain amount of yeah. time, right? You're like, that's my cue. <laughs> oh my God. There, was, there was one, that I used to listen to that song every morning in the quarantine on my little Alexa, and I was, I always, it was, it was when I woke up, I think it was 2.35, played the song, and, it was, and then it was, I was like, all right, I'm getting dangerously close now. <laughs> Be, you just you just like play it every I'm... day to make sure that's not you. That was that was honestly my wake up call was when I got so close. <laughs> I looked and like after get having my shower, it was two forty five. I right. That's awesome. Something's gotta change, man. <laughs> Something's gotta change. <laughs> Listen, dude. I think whenever quarantine just started, like my sleep schedule was so bad. I was waking up at like twelve a.m. and it was like kind of ridiculous. Like I would wake up and, like. Everyone in like that I knew was like going to sleep. It was really horrible. I didn't see my friends. I didn't. I didn't do anything. It's pretty bad. I know George now still has like a terrible schedule because because I'd message him like, "Hey, do you want to come and be in a vlog like tomorrow?" He'd be like, "Yeah, depends. I might not be up for that." Like, what do you mean? Is like, well, I've been up for eighteen hours already, and it's like it's like nine a.m. in the morning, and you're like, "What?" The know. problem with this is George sleeps like fourteen hours. Yeah, yeah, like, that's his, that's his time, issue. So. He'll be awake for eight hours and then get sleepy, right? So. 
Also, <laughs> I want to point out that that your sentence right there just made me so happy because I wasn't sure if George just didn't like me for a little. Because <laughs> he'd be like, oh, I kind of have to sleep soon. But I hear, but everybody says that, so I'm like, okay, maybe. Maybe Aww. he was just... Well, Joe. No, he was got the weirdest the sleep schedule. Like, the weirdest one. Exactly. It's, it's so weird. So, Tubbo will, will sleep basically pretty sort of steadily, and then it gets a bit sporadic. So, like, he'd wake up at, like, 8, go to bed at, like, 12, because he does, like, 10-hour streams, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and he'd do this for about, like, a month, and then after a month, it, like it will mess up and he'll be having like two couple like like a week of like five hour a day sleeps and oh then it'll, and then he will just hibernate and he goes to bed for 50 hours <laughs> he sleeps for 50 hours where he gets up like at the, at the 20 hour mark has some food goes to the toilet goes back to bed like that's not that's, that's for polar bears not <laughs> oh God, that's probably really annoying to work with George and Tubbo. George is uh, waking up at, oh. at 5 a.m. Tubbo's literally in hibernation mode. You're, the video's just not happening. Tubbo just died for the, the next The fact that you've hours. ever uploaded is actually just a miracle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, yeah, none of us have good schedules. My God, it's no. awful. It's That's brilliant. the life but of a like, Minecrafter. Do you want to know what killed, killed me? like really recently was i um i had to start going back to college uh, uh, and I, I i i could like wake up at any time right and the biggest thing about quarantine is if it gets to 1 a.m and you're like right I, like i'm not gonna be able to get six hours of sleep you just go it's fine i'll sleep in another hour but i had to be getting up at 7 a.m if i wanted to make it in on time or no if it gets to 1 a.m i'm like okay i'm gonna have six hours of sleep now and then if it gets to 2 a.m it's like right i'm gonna have five yeah. hours of sleep for tomorrow and you just get so and stressed that lying in bed so that sleep. Mm-hmm. It does, it does. Part. Oh, mate, I've, it has been how, awful. How is school going? Dude, you know what no. I found out? Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. You know okay. what I found I out know. really quick? I found out that when there's a new queen slash king, they replace yeah. the face of the currency. You know, they they replace the face of the currency. We have three days off school. The, the day the queen dies, everyone just goes home. That and is has crazy. To well, all of our currency is a bunch <laughs> of dead people already. So it's int- like it's a bunch of Ooh. pictures of our old dead people that we used to have. So it's weird that it's like every single piece of currency is the queen, and it like the second she dies, oh, they're like, "All right." I I know what we do in England that you two. This is this. I think this is gonna baffle okay. you. The high the highest I'm honor you baffled. can have in England is when you get. I don't even know what constitutes. I think you have to do like just generally good work. You get knighted by the queen, and you sit. You sit on on one. You like bow down to her, and she puts a sword on Dude, either of your so shoulders. Cool. And then from then on, legally, you, like I would be Sir Tom no. Simons if she did that to me. It, it just changes my Dude. name when she does that. Can you? Do it's that? not like a contract. Just her doing. No, I can't. I'm. I wouldn't be eligible. Why? You I should really know. ask her. No, no, but I'm, I'm great not doing this. Why not thing. you? Right. God no! If I if I become Sir Tom Simons, <laughs> that would that would be the that, oh, that would mate, be your best that, vlog, yeah, yet. Lizzie. Night That's... night me, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you asked about school. Did yeah, like how is, how is school for you? Like, it's kind of how's it going? You yeah, I got a distinction in my last term for film and TV, is so cool. which is like I got a D star, which is like it goes. They they make the grades weird. It's like pass merit distinction distinction star, and I got distinction star, which is. Is solid. it a little bit um, ever weird? Just what do you the, mean? I mean, I don't. It's such a weird dynamic to me. I, I wasn't successful yet whenever I was in high school, right? And you're like just very successful in what you want to do for a career already. So it's like Thank a weird you. dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm at a college, which is, like, in the dead center of town. It is, like, it's, I think you, it is weird. There are lots of bits of it that are, like, you get, I get more attention than I would have ever. Like, it's, it is it is kind of weird. But in yes. a good way? It's probably both. Differently exhausting, yeah. you know? Like, it's same with, go- I don't know if you've noticed, but, like, going outside now is more of, like, a, like a oh task my God. than it used to be. Oh, my God, 100%. Because you have, like, a little, well, like... Well, you just have to know sack. about... Kind of like, you know, you used to... When nobody knew who you were, you could just go outside. It didn't matter what you were doing or wearing, right? And now you kind of have to be, like... You have yeah. to have an image the second you walk outside every single time. You know what I mean? Because, I yeah. mean, it is exciting to meet people that know who you are and like you. I'm not it arguing it really it's is, not. But, like, but it is also, like, you do have to, like... Put on a better looking version, yeah. a better version of yourself, right? Every time you meet somebody, obviously. So it's like, 
I find like I have like a little bit of a sixth sense now, which is like whenever a car goes past, I like take like who's in the mm-hmm. window. Like a Toby was saying, he has one. Where, like whenever people are walking past you, you sort of try and catch a glimpse at their face and see if like it, 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 you don't really notice it now. But it's like I don't even think about it. But it's a bit uh, yeah. like I think adjusting to that was quite it's, weird. It's kind of just like that. I school. feel like I'm really good at knowing when someone like recognizes me now. Like I can remember Except like last just, time I was with you. No, last time I was like, with be, you. Like literally, you remember look how at I kept me. calling it out? I was like. Uh, those two girls right there are about to come up to us, and you're like, "How do you know?" I was like, "Watch, just trust yeah, me." Yeah, should, dude, should we tell, should, uh, should we tell Tommy about, about that? About what? Which part? The last, I don't know that one. story. It's a pretty cool story. Okay, I'll I'll tell I'll tell it I'll tell it. Cool. Okay, I'll tell it. Tommy, you, know you don't even know after. about this. Um, I accidentally oh, I don't know met up with Sapnap this past week. <laughs> what? It was, and I'll explain. I'll explain. I was yeah. um I had to go to uh Miami for like a meeting, right? I had like meetings yeah. there and stuff. I was with like the people that made the merch for me. You know, you know who I'm talking about, right? Um, yeah, yeah. I was working with that team and like a few other guys a few other managers like meeting people for a few projects i'm working on um and then the plan was we were going on a plane plane from miami to where i lived in north carolina then i was gonna leave the airport and then they were gonna get onto another plane and go from north carolina to la miami was storming and we take off Mm -hmm. in miami and it is just shaking around like somebody's using it like a shake weight, this plane, okay? It is freak out. I'm I'm freaking out. My friends are kind of freaking out. I'm kind of like laughing, though. It's like I've noticed my fight or flight just turns into a laugh. And, <laughs> and when awful. my friends started freaking out, it was like crazy because I was like, oh, don't worry. We have plot armor. We can't die and stuff like that. And I was like, why was I talking oh, like God. that in hindsight? Anyway, uh, it's shaking around a lot. <laughs> And then the stewardess comes back and says, uh, attention, we're going to be making an emergency landing. We land, and I'm like, where yeah. the heck did we just land? What's going on? It turns out, lightning hit our plane. What? Yeah. Lightning hit our plane. Jesus. And how this plane worked, apparently, is that there was three generators on it. One generator and two backup generators. If we lost all three, the, uh, we would have lost control of the plane and died. The lightning hit oh the plane God. and disabled two of the generators. And since we were still in a storm and they didn't know what was going to happen with the third generator, we needed to hurry up and land before, obviously, they lost control, right? Oh, my God. So I didn't know all this while I'm on the plane, obviously. It's funny. Chandler was there and he was asleep throughout the entire thing. When we landed, (laughs) I'm not even kidding. When we landed, he thought that we had just landed in North Carolina. So he texted his fiance. He's like, hey, just landed. Be there soon. (laughs) He had no idea. (laughs) So I was like, where are we? And they were like, still Florida. And I was like, where in Florida and when can we get on another plane? And they were like, we just got you a new plane for the day after tomorrow. I actually didn't know you were so close to dying. I think whenever I called you, I was like, dude, that's so, I'm yeah, so happy. Yeah, he had no idea. Dude, this is lightning. sick. I was like, this is- I was like freaking out. <laughs> My favorite part of that, <laughs> imagine some com- someone comes up to me to try and stab me and I'm like, dude, dude. <laughs> I've got plot armor, <laughs> and then they and then they pierce my. I don't honest. know, my because my friend, her, her name was Zoe, right? And she was like having yeah. such a hard time with turbulence as a whole. And I and I was like, yeah. it was like fun to like. She was like laughing about it, but in like a nervous laughter. And I was like, hey, don't worry, Are you with me, we man. We got plot armor. We can't die. And I kept saying stuff like that. <laughs> I was like, we're the protein. We could be in the future. Have you not seen tales? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yeah, Have you I can't. Seen I can't if die, I die yet. I'll just get teleported out. Yeah, don't worry, but, man. But for you, uh, you know. Yeah, for you. Yeah, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that um, after. Making content with my friends is so fun, but it's yeah. really nice to be able to take a day where we just hang out, and there's no worry about any cameras or anything like that. Like we're just hanging yeah. out. There's no like just just us hanging out, having a good time. Me and Quackity found that dynamic so refreshing. That I swear to God, every time we meet up, we're just like, ah, we don't need to do any content. Let's just hang. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. No, dude, I am, um, af- like, probably some of my favorite moments of this whole year have been, um, uh, like, after one of the vlogs, we ju- me and Toby just sat on my sofa till, like, 4 a.m. just chatting. And we, like, all, like, I like, actually, I can tell you my favorite, probably one of my favorite moments of this entire okay. year. And it was, oh, it was so cool. It was me, Jack, uh, Tubbo, and then my friends, Erin and Freddie. And we were all sat around my house eating pizza, like after the water park uh-huh. vlog or something. Um, 
and and the, the dream manhunt was premiering and we were all really really excited for it and so we all start watching it and the entire time jack's just sat pointing out every single problem he's got with it <laughs> and then, then, then me and erin are sat like on the edge of our seat but the best part was we were watching it with pizza and it was like such a good evening yeah. uh, and and it was getting into it and i was like sh- like shouting at jack like shut up jack manafort we're trying to watch and it was it was the first five hundred oh one God. And I remember so clearly, like, when, when the boat clutch happened, me and Aaron just stood up and oh, were yeah. like, ah! <laughs> like we all ran around the room like screaming with our pizza. Yeah. It was the best. But it was like, oh, mate, it was so was cool. Awesome. So, yeah, I, I, sorry, I agree. Like, it's, it's so like, it's so great hanging out yeah. with your mates. It's, it's a, it's a weird, uh, it's a weird like thing you have to juggle almost, right? Because you're like, I don't want to like just be hanging out just to stream you know what i mean and i don't want anybody to feel like that or i don't want anybody to feel like i'm just like hanging out for videos or like stuff like that because that's obviously that's not the case i feel like our friend group is like really good at like kind of acknowledging that and being cool with it i'm 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 doing my little sap nap bit of the of the podcast tommy have you i just think it's really cool to talk about this stuff i don't know why have you ever well a do you believe in ghosts and stuff like that and b do you ever do you have a story or no yeah whoa okay well so oh wait sorry first off don't Ooh, believe in ghosts in the slightest. This. That was the wrong. That was, I do <laughs> well, have a good story. That's the opposite story. of yeah. But I just, I just don't. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I don't. <laughs> no, I just fine in it. But like, no, no, they're obviously not real. But we have a cool story. When me <laughs> and me and Tubbo went camping, uh, we were with Russ. Russ told us about. Um, he's like my like. Um, he helps with like producing the vlogs and stuff. He was telling us about how when yeah. he like he saw a ghost, he was really freaked out. But he took a photo. And there's like three photos where as you swipe to the right, you just see this like bright black silhouette and because it's our mate russ we're not sat thinking oh yeah you know it's some reddit video it's gonna be wrong like we were like scared out of our mind so that evening me and toby just sat in our tent like no we're not filming now we are there is no need to go out and film we are sat and we are chatting it was uh, like, that, that freaked us out i did i just i love like creepy stories like i remember last time one of the times i was at last last time i was at carl's house like we just sat on like it, it, on his couch Straight and watched up. like four hours of creepy oh, pasta, yeah. like youtube videos and i don't know why i just like i don't like horror films no? like that's what the the scary movies that really i don't like horror films that are just jump scares like dude i feel like so many horror films are literally just jump scares now i like the horror films that build up suspense yeah. and give you a really eerie you know ear. i watched yesterday which is totally Hit different me. like um have you seen war of the worlds with tom cruise okay yeah I, watching that now yeah it's I brilliant have. right but great, like great movie. a couple of years when i watched it like five years ago it was brilliant it was like oh man you, this, is, this is never gonna happen this is really cool <laughs> and now post covid where you're just like oh mate fucking anything can happen you just sat like there is no <sighs> nothing can so happen if there's ever a lightning storm don't go outside <laughs> It just feels so much this real. This movie called Contagion. Dude, I swear to God, it's like about like like the whole world has no. like basically a pandemic. Do I really want to? I feel, feel like I've seen that, that brings one. brings me to Dude, my next I'm telling question. You, it's, a, it's a really interesting one. We got, we got George coming to America sometime soon. Tubbo tweeted out that yep. he wants to come to America. Rambo's coming. He um, is. I want to know, are you ever planning on coming to America? Yeah. Oh, immediately, mate. As soon, dude, as soon as I can, probably. I think if Toby said, um, if I can go with him for a bit, I probably Whoa. will. Like the next until July, it's all going to be a bit awkward for me because I still have school and I'm going quite hard on YouTube till like February. Like I've got mm. quite a lot more work on. Um, once it all relaxes, especially all of next year. But the, like the second I can, because I, I was saying earlier, like I've organized it with my college more that they're sort of up to speed with what yeah. I do. And so I'm much more okay with me like taking time off. Yeah, I'll come to America for like a month and see everyone. But you're, you're saying visit for like a month though. You don't see yourself ever moving here? <laughs> but, um, no, I could imagine it was like, I, I want to go to Manhattan for a while because I've been there like twice. Dude, I love amazing. I want to, um, yeah, I, just for the experience for like six months. I want to try i want to live in america for bits but i like i kind of want my hq to be in england slash brighton slash nottingham yeah. type okay. like but i want to like go for like half a year to places like why wouldn't Dude, you, i man? i i have to say something i have to get off my chest i tommy i'm really oh. jealous of your vlogs like there's been a few times i've watched it and i've gotten a little pissed off because so, like you you get to hang out with all your friends all your pals and you guys look like you're having a whole lot of fun. I have to. I have to continue to wait for one of my <laughs> stupid idiot friends to face reveal, and the other one to like to like get over here to America, and it, it sucks. Mate, and you're I hanging out with one of my like, best friends. Me and you just you do like him. five. Me, you, and Dream sat up, just go around doing like five vlogs. Yeah. Yeah. 
we're gonna we're gonna yeah, do oh, vlogs yeah. and we're gonna we're gonna do crazy vlogs. We're gonna we're gonna rent out Jesus Disney Christ. World and then we're oh, gonna yeah. jump out of a plane and immediately land oh, into a roller coaster and, and stuff. go. As well, long as you do some cool stuff and you make it up to me, I'll allow it. I'll, I'll allow Thank it. You. That okay. You well, I will then. Okay, fine. I guess he's allowed to keep doing I won't vlogs. Stop you. Tommy, do you prefer making yeah, Minecraft on. videos <laughs> or vlog videos? Yeah, right now, I'm, the Minecraft videos are really fun. Like, I'm starting just getting, like, these crazy groups of people to get... I don't even think any of these will be out by the time this podcast is out. But I've been getting, like, absurd groups of people together. Um, like, we're, we're doing one with me, Mumbo, Green, and Tubbo. It's, like, it's, it's just so ridiculous, which is... I kind of haven't done that for a while on Tommy in it, and it's given me a lot of Dream SMP flashbacks. Uh, and so that's been... Like, I've recorded one with Corpse. Corpse and my schoolmate, Erin. And then um, Dream and Dan TDM. So that has been... Really really fun recently uh, but also the vlogs are like uh, mate after that lie detector and you laughy lose shoe i remember just being sat on the train like man this is so cool i've just spent a day having fun with my mates okay the most fun video i've ever had making was me george and wilbur on that inflatable water course like i don't think i've ever had more f probably like just in, in ever that was probably the most fun day which one I've is had. this because it was so i survived the water the course? one where george keeps falling over yeah yeah like george just like <laughs> we discovered george doesn't really know how to fall over it's like you know when you fall over and you put your hands down and you stop it he just like accepts <laughs> it immediately and collapses it it's like he's been sucked into a void <laughs> and like his consciousness has been wiped i feel like dude i, I your uh, your vlogs are like a different wavelength than most vlogs to me. I think your vlogs bring a different like energy. What do you mean? I don't know. In a good way, it's a very positive sense. It's a, it's a different energy, I think. In a good way though. Like, it, I, I think um thank you. Like yeah. a lot of times even when there isn't necessarily like a direct story, like for instance, I met Logan Paul. I was watching that and just enjoying it so much. Yeah, I really yeah, like no, that. Yeah, uh, I I, that I was a video editor really first, like right? So it's like weird whenever I'm seeing a video that doesn't have a direct storyline, right? And I'm like, that shouldn't work. And then you make it work. It's like weird. <laughs> no, I appreciate that a lot. I've I actually, a lot of it recently, you, uh, especially on the Logan Paul one, has been credit to Wilbur. Like whether it's on the scene or behind it. Like God knows after the Dream SMP stuff, he's so good at story mm. stuff. So he's been like the like actual director for it. So on the Logan Paul one, he was like, all right, Logan, we kind of like to do this bit. And then he was like, cool. He, oh, he was brilliant to work with was Logan. Um, but in like the lie detector, Will set up the cameras and went, okay, I think we should do it like this. And I plan out like the ideas and the title and thumbnail and the content and stuff. But the actual onset directing, a lot of that's been Wilbur. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to take full credit Ooh, for that. Speaking of the Dream SMP, that, that stuff I think is, I heard, oh, I've yeah, been talking man. to you a little bit. That's like coming around the corner again, huh? I just oh, want to yeah. say, Tubbo is so good <laughs> at getting along with literally everybody. Yeah, it does. It's a good sign. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've, you know, like, even most people find me annoying at first. Like, I, I've had, a, like, a bit of shit on, right? But, like, dude, I don't think I've ever seen anyone hate I don't on think Tubbo. there's, there's just, there's what is there annoying to hate? at first? Tubbo, I mean, I, I, I really hate that don't guy. get along with oh, my stuff, on. Carl. No, oh, come on. Well, not, all, not, not all of them, but, you know, I've, I've, got, I've got my fair share of haters. But, like, dude, no one hates Tubbo. How can you? I don't even so, understand how you can. How can you? No, you can't. You say that and then the you first. watch him I will for, be the for first. three hours sit and play around with a deck of cards while speaking to his Twitch chat and be like, I mean, like, I can't go to sleep. It's 7 a.m. <laughs> I'm just going to play my trumpet or something. He just goes live. He's yeah, like, I guess like, I'll play my yeah, yeah, piano. Yesterday on his stream, I'm looking, he, he unboxed things that people had sent him. He spent two hours playing around with a deck of cards. He sat and uh, watched memes happily. He played Grand Theft Auto, which he shouldn't do because he's not 18. And then he played Counter Strike for four hours, and then he just sat and spoke to his viewers, thanking them. Like, mate, what is there to dislike about that man at all? He's oh, he's so brill. That's so much. Sure, okay, what do you dislike about Tubbo? Just though? about everything. I just can't stand. Oh, and he does how play VR. Little just not VR. Yeah, that's plays true. We were playing like a, like a. Few Can I tell days you ago, something? Like Except I'm not ago. even kidding. We we're playing VR, and it was actually a lot of fun. I'm not even kidding. A, last night, he, he asked me if I wanted to play VR. Yeah, motion sickness. What is what's oh, up? That's, and this that, is, this sounds oh, like it's a know, joke. Never I'm mind. Being so genuine. <laughs> So, like, on other podcasts you've been on, is it really, like, they just have, like, a bunch of, like, questions ready for you? They have, like, a little piece of paper, got all their little notes down, and they go, so, Tommy, um, how's school? Which I said. And then they go, okay, school's good. <laughs> wow, you're really young. Like, what's no, it I like? Mean, I, I think it's young the vibe of each of them, and they stuff. have and then, more sort of questions on some of, like, um, the happy hour podcast was quite, like, beforehand. Like, cool, right, here's how we need you to do it. We have a pee, like, you can have a, you know, if you need a toilet break, like, halfway through. Like, it's quite, you know... 
Um, and then I've done some, like when I did the E Boys podcast ages ago. They're also still pretty relaxed. Like it's the vibe of each oh, one. You know? Ours is better. Oh yeah, God no! We, we don't we don't yeah. give bathroom you breaks better on our be. podcast. Um, I hold it's it. Very. I oh, I remember yeah. what I was going to ask. You got to hold it in the whole time. I did Go it on. through our uh, success in the past like year or so. I'd say. I think um, yep. it has been much easier for us to be able to collaborate with people that we used to watch growing up. Who is like the weirdest yep. one to you? Where you like look back in retrospect and you're like, I never would have expected I would have done anything with them. Ninja. Ninja? Hundred percent. I have a screenshot. Well, I, actually, probably Jay Schlack because I watch. I was like his biggest fan for so until I had like a million <laughs> subscribers. I, he like he didn't really speak to me, and I was his biggest fan of all time. So that's the one where if I went back two years ago and went, yeah, you'll be good mates with him. I'd go what? Yeah, like that, that is awesome. Um, but Ninja probably because about four years before <laughs> I had a photo like like I've just been watching Ninja yeah. for years, mate. Like I, I would sit in my year nine science class talking about him mm. and, his, and his new Fortnite builds. You know, it's like or like my entire mouse sensitivity is based off of Shroud. Like it's like yeah. little things that I find weird. Do you know what I found weird? There's a clip of Shroud talking about what. <laughs> Where he goes, there's a clip of Shroud talking about me on his stream, and he and he's like, yeah, I didn't really know about Tommy, but I saw him. He has a little key ring um, he made of like my logo etched into his thing that he posted, which I did three years ago, and I I still got it on my key is Dude, right that here. That is so it's a little cool. Shroud key ring. And I'm like, what? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's very little things that now and then they hit me. Well, like, I have a screenshot with Technoblade from 2017. Really, guys, I'm just I'm just the fan. Dude, that's same. That's like, how I I'll, feel. I'll be honest. Okay, perfect. Because I literally feel that same exact way. I feel like we are all like. <laughs> oh, yeah? I, I think everybody has this like feeling that they're like. I, I don't know. Like I I was like, who? Why am I next to? Uh, dude, you want to hear the weirdest thing? I was a really big yeah. Quackity fan. Really? I swear to God. And now he's like one of my closest oh, wow. friends ever. <laughs> that's it's, dude, that's same with me and Wilbur. Like that's so yeah, weird. Yeah, it is bizarre. Dude, I was that's... a Sapnap fan. That is. <laughs> that, that is weird. That we, you don't meet many of them. The, uh, this is the only. I must have told this many a time. But me and Sapnap played Minecraft together when he had zero subs and I had thirty k. Really? Because yeah, it was him and Dream were playing Sky Wars, and I saw Dream, and I was with I think Time Dio. Bitzel and Pigacle, who were some high pixel YouTubers with me, was like, oh, dude, Dream, and Dream joined our party when, and he had, like, I think he either had, I remember that might have been when I had more subs than Dream, or he had just more yeah. subs than me. I think he might have had, like, a couple million view videos, but, like, a little bit less subs. Like, we were really in the same range. But, um, yeah, I remember, like, he saying to him, do you want to play? I was like, no, I'm listening to music. So I went, okay. And he was like, add sapnap. So I went, all right. And then I sent the Discord, like, and only sapnap joined. <laughs> And I remember, remember sat up during the call. We, we just hung out with you for like. <laughs> the, it was just really weird though. And then I remember like it re hit me again. Because the, fir the first Dream Team member I spoke to was Sapnap. Like, you followed me on Twitter. And then I went, hey, will you come on one of my subathons? And you went, yeah, sure. And then I did Oh, it yeah, Dream. dude. I remember I was pretty nervous for that. Oh, mate. It, I, that's a, I find that like life has just been so fast paced, yeah. but also like, it's such peculiarly paced compared to the other percent of my life. I think it's because um, like last year, or especially through like um, no. June to uh, December, I was posting three videos a week, like really fast. And then once the mod video started, I only started posting like one video a week. <laughs> like I was almost measuring my time on when's the next upload. <laughs> so this year has just gone. So it's been like one video every ten days. That is so funny. I, I feel also, like to me, can, I don't know if do, you guys oh, yeah. can relate, but the past two years, like, have mm. taken the same amount of time as the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just the the other. But also that they've gone so much yeah. faster. Yeah, yeah, it is weird because <laughs> yeah. I I remember being in the first Mr. Beast video I was gonna be in hide and seek two, and I I remember yeah. being in it and being like. I uh, hope I make it far in this game of hide and seek, or else I'll probably never be on screen again. It, 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 that's such oh a weird God. thing to think about. I got second in that video. That I wonder what, if, if, like, I wonder how different my life would be if I got like seventh out of ten. All right. Well, I think that pretty yeah, much like wraps it up. Thank you so much. Yeah, so, why did it sound so sad? It's been all a sudden. great time. This is this is weirdly guys. sentimental no of a podcast, right, well, man. This is really this fun. That's it for us. <laughs> it's like the ending of a cycle. I'm gonna cry. <sighs> right, boys. If you don't see me tomorrow, just know I loved every last one of you. <laughs> Listen, guys, if you enjoyed the podcast, if you thought the episode was fun, you can leave a review on Apple Podcasts like Bean Bean, like Bean Bean did two days ago. They said, love the podcast, had a super long car ride back to school this weekend, and this podcast Aww. made it so much better. Thank you so much, Bean Bean. Can I just say as well? Uh, 
Shout out to the YouTube comment. I read all the YouTube comment section when I'm on really? a podcast. So hello. Dude, hello. we've never Say brought hi. up that we have a YouTube channel for this. Please, give us give us your comments yeah. there. So it comes out Saturdays, and then the YouTube video comes out Sundays. So go ahead, comment on the YouTube. Is this what this one's coming out today, isn't yep. it? We're recording this in the morning. That's crazy. Cool. Okay. Thank you Thank so you much. much for Thanks you, again. Well, Don't forget to brilliant. follow us on Spotify. That's the yeah, number yeah, one way to support us. Tommy, where can they Thank support you, you? You can only find me on TikTok at Tommy in it <laughs> on because that's the one place Wicked Chubia said I'm not. All right. I'm a professional Finally. TikToker. I, follow me on TikTok. Finally. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Bye. All right, guys. You heard the man himself. <laughs> follow him on TikTok. Bye.